longhorn skull had been hanging in a tree for about a year and all the remaining skin and flesh and hide and everything else was glued onto it. I've had it soaking for four or five weeks now and all this stuff has loosened up pretty well. So we're gonna try to European mount it today. First thing I'm gonna do is get these horns off. There we go. Now to make getting these horns back on when it's done easier, I'm going to cut the horn core off somewhere in here. And also I have to cut them off just to get them in the pot to boil it. Okay, so I've got the pot with um, water. I'm gonna boil this thing in. The pot's not big enough. So we're going to have to boil it like that and then turn it over a couple of times and boil it. The only thing I'm worried about with doing that is getting a line of grease that gets boiled into the bone wherever the water level is. So we're gonna have to watch that but we'll see what happens. I'm sure a lot of you who are watching this video have also watched Ryan Olson with Whitebone Creations videos. If you haven't, you probably ought to because he has a ton of awesome videos on how to do European mounts. He even has a couple on Longhorn Skulls and I'll link him in the description.
All right, I got him out of the uh, whitening solution. And uh, after turning him over and over again to uh, get the whitening solution on all the bone, I think he's about as white as he's gonna get. So he looks all right. Right now we're not done. We're going to let him dry and then we'll mop and glow it. We're gonna put the horns back on and we'll go from there. So you can tell that these horns had a lot of scratches in them. I took an angle grinder with a flapper wheel and ground out those scratches and a lot of chips and nicks out of this horn. Now what I'm doing is taking polyurethane and coating it <clears throat> to give it that nice shine and just kind of seal everything. And then we're going to finish the skull, mop and glow it, and then epoxy these horns back on. All right, now we're gonna mop and glue the whole skull. All this does is just kind of seal the bone a little bit. And if you give it two or three coats, it will leave the bone kind of shiny, which some people like, some people don't. So it's whatever you want, but that and it gives it a nice little kind of flowery smell. Everybody loves that. Okay, so it's the next day and the skull and the horns have dried. I'm about ready to put the horns back on and I ran across something that when I put these guys back on there, if you look close enough, especially if it's behind light, you can see the line right here where the horn core has been cut off. So what I'm doing to fix that is just take paper towel and put it in the end. Now when you hold it up to the light, it looks solid. Okay, it's time to put the horns back on. Um, I'm not gonna be using epoxy for right now. I decided to just go ahead with Gorilla Glue so we'll see how that works. I think it should should work fine. It's a pretty tight fit anyways. I'm just gonna put a bunch of it on here.
That's where he goes. Let him dry. This thing has been drying for a couple of days. He's completely done now. I think he turned out pretty good. I had a lot of fun working on this and hopefully y'all enjoyed watching the whole process as I did it. I think that's gonna about do it for this video. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.